What's going on guys this is me Ron and welcome to the new video tutorial in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a password generator in csap.net this password generator concept can be integrated with the user registration application which I already show you by the way check the previous video so in the user registration application we prompt the user to enter their password which by the way is not a good practice because user may enter such a password which can be easily guessed and cracked by the others so it's better to generate the password for user from our own application the generator password is more secure password that's why we call it password generator so let's do it first of all open the visual studio go to file click on new and then click on project select uh, visual c sharp under the need select windows and then select windows form application give the project name and then click ok uh, expand this form little bit and from the control drag and drop some controls first of all I am going to drag and drop text box to expand this text box and then uh, some checkbox and I am going to copy this checkbox and uh, one button as well and one label so I'm going to change the text of this label from the property so go to property and find the text property so here is text property and here goes password generator and checkbox here goes six character so user may want only six character password so six character here goes ten character and here goes twelve character Now change the button ticks also. Here goes generate. There you go. Now double click this generate button. First of all, I am going to show you in the static way, and then later I am going to create one function and we are going to generate the password in dynamic way. So, first of all, I am going to write the code only to generate the password for it character length so here first of all define some constant string and here goes a variable name valid character and valid character goes a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u b w x y z and then capital a b c d e f g s i j k l m n o p q r s t u b w x y z and then alphanumeric character that means the number only so we are going to combine alphabet and number so that is the result of alphanumeric Now we are going to use the string builder class that means we are going to later we are going to use loops while using the loop it's better to use the string builder class rather than string so concatenating string in the loop may cost a lot of memory so better use string builder so string builder a result is equal to new string builder and we are going to use the random class which uh, randomly generate our password so random rand is equal to new random 
now I'm going to use while loop while 0 is less than first of all I'm going to define one variable so that we are going to give the length of the password statically so integer length is equal to 8 and length minus minus and here I am going to append the result that means we are going to append the string builder and here is our valid character and I am going to use the index and inside this index I am going to generate a random so random dot next and the seed is we are going to generate up to the length of this valid character so valid character dot length and we are going to display this result onto the text box so text box 1 dot text is equal to result dot to string that's it now let's run it now here click on generate we must see the password generator and different password is generator now when I am uh, clicking these six character and click on generate, we need to generate only six character. And when I am going to click this ten character, we are going to generate uh, ten character password length. So, in order to do so, what I am going to do is we can use the if else loop. And inside this if else statement, sorry, not loop. Inside this if else statement, what we can do is we can copy this entire code in each if and else part which is duplicate code we should not write duplicate code so what we can do is we can create one function so here public void and the function name is password generate and we are going to pass uh, parameter length and inside this function what we can do is we can copy this code from here and paste inside here and inside this uh, button clicking event what we can do is now we can write if else statement if checkbox one dot checked if checkbox one dot checked it and then what we can do is we can call this method password generator and we can pass the length that is six and else if else if checkbox two dot checked if checkbox 2 is checked what we can do is we can let's follow the standard way again call this method or function and then we are going to display the uh, sorry 10 character password length and else if checkbox 3 dot checked again call this method and the length of the password is 2 bell otherwise if all these three checkbox is not clicked or checked what we can do is we can uh, display the default password length that is length 8 
so password generator here goes 8 now let's run it oh so we got some error here I forgot semicolon now I'm not going to click uh, any of this checkbox uh, the default I'm going to generate the 8 character that is 8 alphanumeric character password so I'm going to click generate there you can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now I'm going to click uh, this checkbox and click on generate I'm going to get only six character one two three four five six now i'm going to click on 10 and then click on generate i'm going to get 10 character now i'm going to click on 12 character length and i am going to get 12 character so that's it in this video tutorial guys if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about these amazing tutorials and they can integrate this feature into their application and also stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel so subscribe this channel and if you like really like this video give thumbs up which really motivates us to create such programming video and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye bye